The Magnum and Country Frame product line is listed for all types of Type L pellet venting. There's several different manufacturers on the market producing several different types and kinds of venting, but they're all approved to go on the Magnum and Country Flame. You can get the standard type of venting that you see here where it's stainless steel on the inside and galvanized on the outside, and these come in various grades. There's what's called the pellet grade, which is the type PL, and that's the standard type of venting that's used for all pellet appliances. Today's markets, though, require a wide variety of fuels being burnt in appliances, and in particular, the Magnum and the Country Flame appliances will burn corn and wood pellets, olive pits, cherry pits, and a host of other new biomass fuels. So there has to be specialty type venting that works for this. Manufacturers of the venting have come across with what they call either a corn vent or a bio vent that will burn a number of fuels and not deteriorate the venting. Those pipes are available in different finishes, like this particular bio vent here, made by Bernard Dolson, is a nice black finish. It's also available in the galvanized finish, and it's made to be liquid tight. So it's a very good pipe that's just introduced out on the market. Simpson Duravent has both pellet vent and corn vent available, and now they've come out with a new bio vent that is more liquid tight, so you don't get the fly ash leaking out of the seams, and it will withhold the chemical reaction when you're burning certain types of fuels, or if the fuel is a little bit poor quality, or if the fuel happens to have quite a bit of moisture. At this point, what we'll do is we'll go through a few of the standard configurations and tell you just a little bit about what's required for venting in your home to make sure that the job is done right. We strongly recommend that you use a trained professional when having the venting installed on your Magnum or Country Flame appliance. Different municipalities, different cities, even different states vary in the requirements and the codes and the building codes in this. The manufacturer comes out with a set of instructions with every unit that tells you the basics. It tells you what the clearances to combustibles are, what the type of venting is to be used, it shows you a few illustrations on the different types of venting, but that's only the basics. You need to make sure that you know what you're doing or hire a trained professional to make sure that the appliances are installed correctly. If they do not get installed correctly, you could have problems with the actual operation of the appliance where it doesn't want to run, the vacuum sensors trip out, you could have problems with the venting plugging prematurely, or you might have trouble with the appliance just safety shutting down and it's a venting configuration problem. So what we're going to do is just touch just very lightly on a few things. The first thing you want to do when you have your unit installed is make sure that you have an adequate fresh air supply. There's a fresh air hookup located on the back of every Magnum and Country Flame appliance to make sure that you have the right combustion air so that your venting configuration can be balanced. The second thing you want to make sure of is that your home is actually balanced. Over 80% of the homes in America today have a negative pressure problem, so an indoor air quality problem within the home. That can and will affect the performance of your appliance. It can be as simple as the fireplace turns just a little bit dirty, or it can be that your appliance actually shuts down and the safety sensors will not make it operate. So make sure that you have adequate fresh air coming in, make sure that your home is balanced. From there you want to make sure that your venting configuration is designed for the appliance, for the locale that your appliance is located in, and gauge for the type of altitude that you might be at. The normal venting diameter that you will use in a typical application is 3 inch diameter, but in certain conditions you have to be able to switch up and use a 4 inch diameter pipe. Instances of that would be if you live in the mountains or if you live in high altitude areas. That's where you want to switch over to 4 inch. And in the installation manual, there's a graph in there that shows you at what altitude and under what conditions that you want to go to 4 inch. There might be other applications where you want to go to 4 inch. One of those might be is if you locate your appliance in the basement of the home and there's a hard time getting the right configuration going out so your draft is poor, then you want to switch to 4 inch. If there's a question in your mind, just go to 4 inch right away and the appliance will work great. 
Now, to show you a couple of the configurations to switching back and forth, this is a typical 3-inch stove adapter that would go onto the end of your appliance and then you'd put a 3-inch hose clamp on here and this part fits right into the end of your tubing and this shows a typical installation using 3-inch diameter piping that goes out through the wall. You'd have your length of pipe, a wall thimble that goes into your wall to get the required clearance to combustibles and then when you go outside you would have your required you'd have your required 12 inches of space and some type of a termination cap. This is called a horizontal termination cap but there are several different variations on the market and so you can choose which one fits your application. If you were deciding to go up to a 4 inch diameter off of the unit and you were using a straight out the back installation then you would use what's called a 3 to 4 pipe adapter. So the same pipe adapter fits on the back of your appliance. You put your hose clamp on to tighten that down and then this would hook on to a 4 inch diameter pipe, something similar to this, and then you would put your 4 inch wall thimble on and go out through the wall and hook the appliance up with a termination cap. 